Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another Marvel Snap video. In this video, we are going to be looking at Man Thing, brand new card that just came out within the last hour. Uh, now that they've moved the, the release time to a reasonable time, like moved it forward 16 hours, it's coming out at 8 p.m. my time instead of 4 a.m., which means I actually get to play some of these decks before I put on the video. So I'm going to show you five decks. One of them I'm not happy about, but I'm showing you because it's not my type of deck. People might like it, and then at the end, I'll give you a review of whether I think Man Thing is worth getting, if I think he's good, and what type of deck, which one of these decks is best. So let's just get into it. The first deck is a junk deck. So the idea is you just give him junk, right? It's just it's just a toxic deck, but with Man Thing in here, you get to lower like lower the power as you'll see in here it just it can win lanes luckily enough i didn't run into any loot cages in these games i played like three to five with each deck to give it i know it's only a short sample size it's not the best but you know it's the content game you've got to be first yeah you i'll get i have a deck out tomorrow with my favorite one of these probably probably record another one after this like a proper deck video so let's have a look is there any series four or five cards in here you can replace but man thing can be replaced with another toxic card like a sentry, right? If you don't have it. But it's a man thing video, so he's needed. The rest of them is quite straightforward. Just give him toxic cards. Man thing does it. Bam. Easy, right? Next deck. So, like this. <clears throat> Ooh, that is, that is brutal for us. That is brutal. He just plays Hulk mid right and wins. Shh. I should have bet this last two. No, because Titania would have came in. I could have ate some demon, right? So I would have switched back around and went for it. Um, Okay. <clears throat> and then Tanya flies over. Let me see. Get clogged. Victory. And this is one of my favorite decks. This is the deck I'm probably going to do a video on. And this is just hazmat hyvo stuff. This was nasty. I felt nasty. Look. Watch, look at the video of this gameplay. This this was so nasty. I love this. Uh, I wish, like, this was just one of them. I've done this to someone else as well. Not, it's not as bad as this, but this was, this was beautiful. This was beautiful. And he, he played bad. The guy that I was playing against played bad. As you can see, that Spider-Man play was not the one, right? But just how he was already annoying. Now you have this 4-5 that can just, Nuke them. If they don't have a loot cage, they are so done against Haibo. It was already hard enough, but with uh, Man Thing now, if they don't have that, oof, baby. Uh, so next up, wait, uh, let's have a look at any series four or five we can replace. Haibo with a Haibo Man Thing there, right? So not, not really any replacements for this deck. You could switch and uh, change a couple of stuff. We've got Rogue in there. If they, uh, we had Rogue in there. If they, what you call it? Uh, had Luke Cage. Anyways, on to the next deck.
Okay. I'm taking this shit. <clears throat> And we just hold here, right? We could just hazmat it all, but lose to Luke Cage. Do that. We still might lose to Luke Cage. I hope he doesn't have Luke Cage in that list. He doesn't. Let's go. Victory. The next deck is just like a good card deck. I'm just gonna call it the good card deck because if you see my tweet. My Twitter is at Twitter X is in the description. Check it out. Uh, I posted yesterday, I believe it was, the 10 most played deck cards this season, and half of them are here. I'm not going to lie. It's just a good card deck with the surprise package of Lady Death Strike. Oof, as you'll see in this gameplay coming up, it came in clutch for me. I'm not going to lie. Uh, she just nuked the lane, and it felt. It felt good. It felt good. Anyways, uh, so the idea is you just win for an, win the board, get ahead. You can use Lady Death Strike to strike down a lane. I just wanted to mix it up. I could have went with Rogue. Rogue's probably the safer bet, right? So that you can get that loot cage or whatever. But I wanted something a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And she's in Spotlight, so I wanted to put another Spotlight card in here. So you put her in, you try and target these good cards. Which is like Elsa, Angela, Kitty, Bishop, Luke Cage, stuff like that. You can target these if they're not not buffed. Like you can take out the Elsa, you can take out the Cage. Uh, if Angela's comes out late, you can take out Angela. If Bishop's out late, you can take out the Bishop. Just as cards to try and snipe it, and then on turn six you drop Hit Monkey, Mysterio, Kitty, or something, right? And then obviously you man thing on four and stuff like that. And we're going to the next deck, which is. The next one power uh, Luke Cage might be needed here. For the Luke Cage, we can't can't hit monkey with the Luke Cage, right? We can't do that. Monkey would be so big though. Let's do this. Yeah, we should have monkey left. Okay. Danger room's gonna sell this then, I guess. Okay. Just like an on reveal, it's an ongoing oh, deck right. with Wong and Hazma. I kind of the video I'm showing you is kind of a cheat, but you know, <laughs> I wanted to show it because it's a okay. fun game, it's a funny game that we actually won this. I can't remember any rocks we had here. And we had about six rocks, seven rocks. Oh. I'm like recording or watching the gameplay, so I can't remember how many rocks there was. Uh, so the idea is probably use demon in there. You, Hit a big wong and buff them all. And then you've got a lot of ongoing. You've got uh, Echo, Zabu, Morbius, Wong, Man Thing, Mary, Spec, Mary, yeah. And then Spectrum to buff them if you want. You get, you get turn seven. Look at these. Right? Raw. Get Wong down three or four. Your magical three, Wong on four. You could go for what? Man thing on five or whatever, and magic, and on six you go, Hazmat, 
<laughs> Absorbing man into Odin, or you could play Spectrum on six, then Odin that. If you want to, like, hazmat early, you know, there's plenty of options. Uh, it's probably one of the weaker lists, even though the next one is the one I hated playing the most. But Not looking this one probably is a weak list, because long stuff. To we'll see it out. Fortunately, <laughs> as soon as you start playing long stuff, we'll see it out. Cosmo every game. We all know it. And lastly, but it really is not looking very good here. So he puts something down middle on turn two. Could have been his demon. Could have been Luke Cage. Titania. Okay. Demon it was a demon. The spider Woman. Okay. I think we might win this. Oh, we do? Man thing! Let's go! The deck that I didn't like the most because I just hate, hate, can't tell you how much I hate Cerebro. The deck, it's a deck that is punished by good and bad locations. It feels so bad. Oh my god, would it feel bad? It's, it's ridiculous how bad I, how bad Cerebro has it. Like, it's like, uh, you can see a win here, but we didn't use Cerebro for it. But, like, I almost had a win in a game, and then someone changed the location to plus one location. And then I've just lost. There's nothing I can do. It just turn one lane into six power minions, uh, cards, and then it screwed me. I do not like Cerebro. But, there's a bias. Well, this is a C5 list. Obviously, you just play five cost things. Got a life in here to finish it off. Doom if you need to. Ways to cheat out. Like Medusa's just a great card. Lizard's good. Sales good. Luke Cage to protect negative locations. Man Thing to pretty much saw lower lane. Man Thing could probably saw lower lane if they don't have Cage. Uh, Polaris, Spider Man to move stuff around, right? Chantress to target their Luke Cage. Fun deck. If you like Cerebro, but I don't. I had fun playing the deck, but. That was about Cerebro, right? That's probably just, I like Silk, I like Spider-Man, I like <laughs> Lyoth and Doom. That's me just liking good cards, not like Cerebro. Anyways, that's it for the video. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what, uh... wait, I forgot. I'm going to review Man Thing at the end. But before we get into the review, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And let me know what decks you are playing Man Thing in, or if you got him. Now let's get into it. I'm gonna stay in if I have a chance. I go. Produce a live here. Win, right? Mm -hmm. No! We win! Woo! So, man thing. I think this card is so cool. I think it's got such a good effect. I think it's. A great card. The problem is, it came at the worst possible time. I don't think there's a worse time for Man Thing to come out. Maybe it would. The worst time would have been when High Evil came out. Maybe there is so much Luke Cage right now. So much. People, Shadow King is just a great card. So Luke Cage is just everywhere. High Evil's all still annoying. Uh, Luke Shadow King's everywhere. Luke Cage is just. <laughs> Just a, it's an easy card to put in your deck, especially with this card coming out now. There's even more reason to put it in if you're questioning it. You just put it in. It's just such a good card, Luke Cage. So it kind of screws this. So in this meta, I'd probably give it a two star out of five. I still I think the card's good, and I think if you have free K tokens, you could get this card, and you'd probably have a lot of fun with it. Should you do it? Depends on your collection and uh, how many spotlight catches you've got for the rest of the month or tokens and stuff like that, right? But if this was a different mayor, 
with no Luke Cage, it, this could easily go up to a three or a four star. Right? In the right meta, this could be defining. Luke Cage is always going to keep it under control, which is good for the game, not good for Manfred. So I'd say probably it's probably a two now, probably raise into a three, maybe a three point five. If this gets if Rogue gets another buff, it could easily come up to a three point five. Because then you could roll their stuff on uh, and stuff like that, right? But for now, it's probably a two. I think it could be worth buying if you have spotlights saved up. Do not open spotlights for this. That's one thing I'll say. Only get this with tokens. This is a token buy, if anything, not a spotlight, unless you want Lady Deathstrike or Silver Samurai, I think the other card is, right? In case you want them. But this is not an open. Do not open your spotlights. Fight with tokens, if anything. And anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you tomorrow for a Man Thing video. Peace.